Today we're going to take a look at how to delete libraries from Final Cut Pro X. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today I'm gonna answer a question I got recently from one of my previous Final Cut Pro X tutorials. Someone asked, how do you delete a library from Final Cut Pro X? This is a very good question. It seems straightforward, but uh, it's actually some things that you need to consider before you delete a library. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. But before we get into today's topic, um, I just want to say that I've been trying to answer more of your questions through these videos, short videos on Final Cut Pro X, because it's one of the topics that I've been getting more questions about. Um, so if you have anything that you're wondering about, please ask away, because if you have a question, I'm pretty sure there's other people that have the same exact question. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to delete Final Cut Pro X libraries. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro X. And as you can see, there's this untitled library. This usually opens up by default because it was created, uh, you know, without you having to do anything. Most people have this. And usually I close this because I don't need it. Uh, just go to file, close the library. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this Lazier hard drive where I keep my video projects. As you can see here, there's this 18 to 105 review. This is a previous project I worked on. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open up the library. Actually, I have two projects in this library. I worked on two separate ones. So let's take a look at the Sony 182105. This is actually it. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to revisit this library. So I can go ahead and delete it. So if I right click here on this library, you can see this move to trash is grayed out. So I can't actually delete it from here. As far as I know, you can't. So what you can do though is close this out. We're not going to delete it, the library here from Final Cut Pro X. We can just close this. We can exit out of Final Cut Pro X. And what I can do now, since this is my folder and this is where the library lives inside of the folder and this is all the video footage, I can just go ahead and right click and delete the, where is that, move to trash? Right here, move to trash and it will delete the library. Now it won't show up in Final Cut Pro X. So it's as simple as that. I don't wanna delete this just yet because there's some uh, footage in here that I really like, like these three shots of I was uh, reviewing this 18 to 105, and I'm thinking in the future, I might use this video footage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save these three video clips. Actually, it's four of them. I don't need that. I just need these four video clips, and I'm gonna move these to this folder called stock footage. And you know what? Some of these files are, are named the same. So before I do that, here's another, another trick. You can rename these four files, and I'm gonna uh, hit Shift, and I'm gonna select all these four and say rename four items, find, yeah, C0, and I'm gonna say uh, Sony 18 to 105, and I'm gonna rename all these clips. Now I can move them over to my stock footage uh, folder or here, drop them in. Now I have the stock footage in here. Now I, I know that I'm not gonna revisit this project again i'm done with it this is a previous video uh youtube video i did so what i can do is I, i'll just delete this whole thing move to trash again let me select this instead of deleting this i'm going to delete the whole folder because it's going to get rid of the the library and everything in it and i still have here the video clips I worked on because that's a good idea, right? Sometimes you don't want to delete everything inside the library. Oh, and one last thing before I forget, I almost forgot this. There's also some other backups that Final Cut Pro X creates internally in your computer. So if we go right here to the left and select movies, there's Final Cut Pro X backups. You can see that's our untitled uh, library that's created by default. And so if we go in here, these are previous projects I worked on. These are just backups. They really don't hold any footage because usually I save all my footage into an external hard drive. You never want to do it internally in your computer because, you, because you're gonna fill up your computer. So if we get the info, uh, you see these are fairly small. They're just backup files. There's really nothing in there. Um, you know, you might wanna keep them there or you can just go ahead and, and trash them if you're not gonna use them. Uh, so I can go ahead and delete this. They really don't take up a lot of space. And for the most part, I don't really check these, uh, but they're good to maybe revisit once in a couple months and just get rid of them. If you know you're not gonna revisit these projects. So I just wanted to show you that. So that's how you do it. That's how you delete 
uh, a library from Final Cut Pro X. So that was simple enough, uh, pretty straightforward. For me, for the most part, when I'm working on YouTube videos, I, for the most part, I delete the libraries. I also delete the video footage I shot. But here and there, if I shoot some B-roll that I think I'm gonna use in the future, then I keep it, I store it in a different drive. Uh, I just store the, the B-roll footage, but I delete the whole thing. The, the whole library and the other video footage that I know I'm not gonna use. But uh, it's up to you. If you wanna store all your video projects and everything that you've recorded, then you're gonna have to get more external hard drives because you can't store it on your computer. You're gonna fill it up very fast. So please let me know if you have any questions, anything I wasn't clear about, or you have any suggestions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, just, remi just a reminder that if you do post a question, sometimes I make short videos, so don't be shy to ask, okay? So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.